What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Light of the Woods, my YouTube channel. All right, so before we begin, for those of you who are new, I'm going to introduce you to something that I really, really like. For those of you who are old, y'all already know this. I'm going to introduce y'all to the intro to this channel. Because I got to get the song stuck in your head. Come on. Light up the woods, light up the woods One syllable at a time out here Light up the woods, light up the woods One video at a time out Light up the woods, light up the woods One syllable at a time out here Y'all, we gonna burn. Child, I mean, it's the worms. Am I allowed to put the, the name on here? I don't know. Y'all, we did it. We are on day 30 of our 30 lessons in 30 years. Mm -mm. Oh, I should have done a theme song for it. 30 lessons in 30 years. I really shouldn't be eating while I'm on here. She said that she stuffs another piece of gummy worm in her mouth. Okay. So, oh no, not these earrings. Yeah, I am all over the place today. It's because it's the last day. It's kind of like senioritis. You know, at the end of the year, when you're a senior and you're just like, life's great, I'm finna graduate. I don't care. Kind of like that. I'm a little too comfortable. Okay, let's get into it. So, it's our final lesson. It's been amazing going through this journey with you all. My birthday is tomorrow, September 1st. And I am turning the big three. Oh. And um, when I thought about what would be the most important thing for me to put here as the final lesson of the series, only one thing made sense. Only one thing made sense. It was very close to being the one from yesterday. Having a relationship with God. But only one thing made sense. One of the biggest lessons that I have learned in my 30 young years of life. Is. Always. Pray. Pray. I know some of y'all just signed out because you think that's cheesy. I don't care. A few lessons ago, don't care what anybody thinks. Hello? Pray. Always pray. Prayer works. You take yesterday's lesson, you have a relationship with God, you add today's lesson and pray, baby. What? I don't know how many stories I can tell y'all. About how I have literally watched the Lord answer my prayers within minutes. That's not all the time. But I know he hears me. Prayer. Your prayer life is so important. Let me tell y'all this one quick story, okay? Alright, so. Uh, there was this one time. Okay, when I was in college. Okay, how do I start this? Alright, so boom. When I was in college, I was the president of this organization called Alana, right? Um, and we had to do this fundraiser during homecoming weekend. Now, homecoming weekend is also the weekend where gospel choir sings at the banquet. I am also part of the gospel choir. Now, my roommate, who knew I was going to be singing at the gospel choir joint, she had an instrument over there she needed me to pick up from her parents, I believe, and bring back so that she could perform at another thing the next morning at homecoming weekend. Right now, I'm also in college, so you know we went out one of those nights. You feel me? So, get home late. I don't have a way to get the grill to the field so that we can sell hot dogs and, and hamburgers for our fundraiser during the soccer game. 
I don't even have the hot dogs and hamburgers and everything to grill. I just have my grill here on campus and that's it. Not only that, I forgot to grab the instrument for my coworker, not coworker, for my roommate. So I'm so stressed and so tired. I ended up sleeping on an extra mattress underneath my friend Morgan's bunk bed. Call me weird, I don't care. So I'm under there, I sleep, I wake up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get her instrument? How am I gonna get the grill to the to the um to the field? How am I going to get all of the burgers and dogs and things? Like, how am I gonna do all of these things? I am stressed. And you know I probably had an assignment due that I procrastinated and needed to get done. You know that. So <laughs> I get up and something in my spirit said, girl, pray. So I said, okay. I said, Lord, daddy-o, father, Jesus, what do you want? What's up? Help. Help us, sister. Oh, Lord Jesus, please. Listen, he's the one who made me this weird, so he don't get weirded out when I come to him being all weird. I don't know what I'm finna do. I don't know. Like, I'm stressed right now. This is still part of the prayer. I'm stressed right now. I need to get this grill over to the field. I need to get the stuff for the hamburgers and the, everything we finna sell. I need to get this girl her instrument in time. And I need to be at the field to grill the things so that we can um, sell these burgers and dogs. And I need to get the grill back here. I don't know how I'm going to get all this done, Lord. All I'm saying is help us, sister, out. Please. I love you. Amen. That was the prayer. It, it, if I could bet, that could have been verbatim because I've always been this strange. So, I was in my homegirl's dorm under her bunk. My dorm was across the, sh not the street, across the way from her. So to, if I go out the back door of her dorm, I'm looking at the front door of my dorm. So I go down the stairs, like, here we go. I'm gonna figure it out. And I'm pretty sure this was, yes it was, this was before Uber existed. Yeah. Either before Uber existed or before I got Uber. Either one of the way, Uber's not in this place. I go out that back door could you imagine one of the maintenance men is driving a truck past the door? I said, hey, 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 question. I need to get my girl to the field. Is there any way you can bring it to the field? He's like, the field where the soccer game is? I said, yeah. He's like, oh, I was headed that way. I said, for real? He was like, where's the girl? I told him where it was. He was like, I'll bring it. To, don't worry about it. Praise the Lord. Check. I go upstairs to my dorm room take a shower. I'm getting dressed. I'm like, okay, how do I get to Lombardo's to go get the instrument? I get a call from my mentor. Hey, do you need help with anything today? For real? I thought you had a bunch of stuff to do. No, I'm pretty free today, actually. Okay, so this is what happened. And I, and boom, boom, boom. And she says, okay, cool. I'll take you to go get the, um, the stuff from the supermarket, drop me off at the field, and I'll go get the instrument for your roommate. You, you, you finna go get it for me. Papa, thank you, I appreciate it. <gasps> thank you, Lord. Check. We go to the supermarket, I get the things, go to the field, I start flipping the burgers. Now I got people fighting me so that they can flip the burgers for me so that I can take a break. So what you're saying is, Lord, you even factored in some time for me to rest in all of this. God is good all the time. And all the time, hey, hey, somebody say it. God is good. Check. <laughs> now that's just one very short story about how, you know, prayer works. I have a whole 
Testimony Tuesday segment on here where some people will testify about how their prayer works. But here's the thing, a lot of us misconstrue what prayer is or how to pray. I'm going to oversimplify it for you, okay? Prayer is talking to God. Mm -hmm. That's it. I said I was going to oversimplify it. Talking to God. You know how you talk to your best friend? Except without the cursing. You should probably leave the cursing on if you be cursing. You know how you talk to your best friend? Like that. You know how sometimes your best friend will tell you the same story over and over and over again and sometimes you indulge and just let them say it because you know it's their favorite story? Like that. You know how sometimes you just tell your best friend exactly what happened that day? Ain't really no excitement for real, but you were just like, yo, so today, today, I did this, I did, I did, I did. Like that. You know how you be calling your best friend so that you can be like, girl, you know what happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, and... Like that. You know how you be calling your best friend like, can I tell you what happened today? Yo, ah, 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 boom, 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 and it was so exciting. Like that. If you don't know how to pray, do that, but with God. God, today was a long day. My feet hurt. I ain't even gonna hold you. My feet hurt. And a lot of us be relying on the fact that he knows already. He don't care that he knows already. He wants to hear from you. He will hear you say the same story over and over. Even though he watched you go throughout the day and he guided your steps and he protected you from certain things, he wants you to come home and be like, yo, God, today was kind of crazy because you know what happened? This happened and that happened. He's like, yeah, I know, right? And that was crazy, right? Yeah, but I got you, big homie. He wants to hear from you. Even if you think he already knows. He is your friend. There's a song we sing in church that I used to can't stand it, but now I love it. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. And what do you do with your friends? You talk to them. That's all. That's really all. So I have this tradition when um when my birthday's coming up, the last day, which is tonight, um, for the last 15 minutes, I will spend time in prayer, talking to God, and I will, you know, talk to him about um, reflecting on the past 365 days and showing gratitude for all of the things that happen and things like that. And then I'll spend the first 15 minutes of my new birthday, which is tomorrow, um, just praying about, you know, things to come, what I'm hoping for and, you know, declaring things and all the likes. I look like I'm in an old 90s video. Wait a second. Hey, hey. Okay, I digress. Um... Yeah, it's it's a new new ish tradition. I started it like maybe five years ago, and it just feels so good to spend my turn of age with the person who blessed me with the ability to turn a new age, who blessed me with life, who blessed me with breath in my lungs. So as we close out. I want to pray for you. Okay? Y'all ready? Oh, God. Can you believe it? Jesus. Can you believe it? I really made it all the way to 30 days. <laughs> I know. I know the last, like, 10 of them. I did in about three days because I fell back, but you know me. I, I just be like that. But um, yeah, we're here. We're praying on camera um, with the people here who's watching. And Lord, I just want to pray my gift for my birthday is that you bless them. 
Bless them to be able to get to know you and have a relationship with you. Bless them to understand that they can talk to you like a regular, regular conversation, you feel me? <laughs> I just pray that everyone who was watching this video will fall deeper in love with you. Lord, I pray for specific encounters for each and every one of them. Well, they will not just come to know you, but come to know themselves in you. That they can pinpoint to that encounter and be like, that was the moment. That was the moment. Yeah. That was the moment. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for being able to um, get through these past 30 lessons. Um, and I thank you for whoever it's going to reach. Um, <laughs> and I thank you that I'm going to get some more subscribers. You feel me? Like, <laughs> let me hit that thou, Jesus. I'm just saying, <laughs> monetization is in my horizon. Hello, somebody. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, but thank you for 30 beautiful young years of life, and thank you for the many more to come. Pray all these things in your son's name, who, although is all knowing, still wants to hear from us. Until I see you again, you have a duty to shine your light in this world. So, go on and light up the world. Bye.